Okay, so we're ready now to populate our web page with uh, our first assignment. So let me show you how you do that. So you're going to open up your google.com, go over here to the Google Apps at the top right, click that. Now you could scroll all the way down again and go to more from Google and find their site's logo. But it's also now that you've used it and made your website, it's also now stored in Drive. So I'm going to go to Drive to find my website. And here's all my other folders with files I have in here. And here is my portfolio right here. All right, so I have my, let's go to Pages. I have my home page. I have my assignments page. And I'm going to open up this folder, assignment one, two, and three. We made these blank pages to insert assignments. I went ahead and did assignment one so you can see what it's going to look like. So under final project you're going to put a big image of your final project. If you're one of my video classes you're going to insert a YouTube link with your video in it. If you're in commercial art one or two you're going to just put your art in there as a JPEG. And then below that, you're going to put your, the photos that you used to make your project before you edited them. So I can see how you transform the photos to make your project. And then below that is a screenshot. So during the week, at least once or twice, I'm going to ask everyone to stop working, take a screenshot of how their project is coming along, and save that screenshot. And then you're going to put that below. That way I can kind of see... Um, how you're doing with your project and how you're doing with time management and stuff like that and if things are looking good on your project. Alright, so let me delete all these and start over so I can show you how to do that. So you'll be starting with this blank page. The first thing that we want to do is insert an image if you're in Photoshop or Illustrator class. So we go to insert and we go to images. And if you have it in Google Drive, you can do select. If it's on your computer or a flash drive, you're going to go to upload. And let's see, I have my final project here. Now when you first put it in here, it's going to be below everything else. You can take this uh, little handle right here and drag it up so it's under final project. Please do not leave it small like this. I can't grade your work when it's that small. So what you need to do is click on it. Just pull this off all the way to the side so that it's you know going across the whole screen and then click this button here uncrop and then I'll give it to me nice and big so I can see it so please make sure you make it as large as possible no small submissions that I can't see please all right now we're ready to upload a photo gallery of the photos that you use so each time you do an assignment I want to see how you transform the photos, so I want you to include the originals. Now instead of going to insert images, we can go ahead and use one of these content blocks right here. So you're going to click this one right here with the four pictures that are going across. So just click plus, upload, and let's find the pictures that we used. You don't need to make these big, by the way. You can just leave them in those little squares. Upload. All right, and then I have one more photo to add, so I'm going to add another row of pictures and upload my last photo that I used for my project, jellyfish one. All right, now I want to delete all these text boxes, so click in that and click the garbage can again, the little remove button. We don't need any of these text captions for any of these photos, so delete those. All right, now we're ready to just grab that by the handle and slide it up under photos used. All right, so we have our final project, we have the photos used, and then screenshots. So I'm going to be asking you all to take screenshots of your work as you progress, so make sure you save those. So we're going to go to insert images again, click here, go to upload, find the screenshot that I ask you to save, and just like the... Um, other images, you're going to drag it under the title, click on it, pull it out all the way to the edge, and then uncrop so I get the full size. All right, so that's how you create your assignment page. 
Then when you're ready to turn it in to Canvas, you're just going to go over here to Publish again. Say Publish twice. And when it goes back to your, um, to your site here, you know that you've published it. And then I want you to go up here and click on that little triangle next to the Publish button and say View Publish Site. And that is going to take you to the link that you're going to turn in for Canvas. So just click on that and copy that and control C and then go into Canvas and go to the submit button and paste that link in there. That way when I go to grade, I can click your link and it will take you directly to the page that I need to look at to grade. And if you're in Commercial Art 3 and 4 and you're doing a video, let me show you how to do that. Everybody else can go ahead and stop watching the video. But I want to show the other classes how to insert a video. So let's go to our pages. And I'll just do this on Assignment 2 and go to Insert. And instead of clicking Images, I'm going to go to Embed. Now I've already copied the link to a YouTube video. So I'm going to just paste that in there and say insert and once again we can also do the same thing where we make that really big you will have to instead of clicking uncrop you'll just have to drag it down on the bottom as well to get as big as possible alright so that's how you'll turn in your videos you can move this up here and put it under final project uh, for the videos class, you probably won't have photos used. I don't mind if you delete that one. I will ask you for screenshots, but now you'll be able to have a video of your project directly in your portfolio, so you'll do the rest of the steps the same way.